Hello everyone, I welcome you all for this wicket tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss the scheme and solution of model question paper 1. For computer science stream, I am going to discuss with module wise. I have considered in this video module 1. Module 1 is common to all branches. All the branch students can refer this uh, uh, scheme and solution. So, question number 1a with usual notation prove that uh, tan phi equal to r d theta by dr. So, the solution has been proved in the previous video. You can refer the previous video for this proof. I have provided the link in the description. You refer the description. Moving to question number 1b, find the angle between the curves r equal to a log theta and r equal to a by log theta. So, here they have provided two curves. We required to find the angle between these two curves. So, consider these two curves. So, then take log on both the side. So, we are going to get log r which is equal to in the right hand side I am going to apply loss of logarithm log a plus log of log theta. Similarly, for the second equation also I am going to apply loss of logarithm in the second uh, right hand side. I am going to get log a minus log of log theta. Differentiating with respect to theta I am going to get 1 over r into dr by d theta. Since r is depending on theta. So, derivative of r with respect to theta is dr by d theta. Derivative of log a is 0. Derivative of log of log theta is 1 by log theta into derivative of log theta is 1 by theta. And we know that 1 over r into dr by d theta can be written as cot phi. So, as we are having two curves here, I am going to define this first curve as uh, cot phi 1 and the right hand side is 1 over theta log theta. Similarly, from the second curve, I am going to get cot phi 2 which is equal to minus 1 by theta log theta. As we cannot express uh, uh, the right hand side in terms of cot, we are going to express the solution in terms of uh, tan. So, express the uh, uh, values in terms of tan. I am going to uh, get tan phi 1 equal to theta log theta. What I have done? Just taking the reciprocal on both the sides. 1 over cot theta is nothing but tan theta, we know that. So, similarly, 1 over cot phi 1 becomes tan phi 1 and the reciprocal of this will be theta log theta. Similarly, for this tan phi 2 will be equal to minus theta log theta. Now, we know that the formula for angle between two curves is given by tan of phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 divided by 1 plus tan phi 1 tan phi 2. Substitute the values of tan phi 1 and tan phi 2. We are going to get theta into log theta. The tan phi 2 value is negative here. Minus into minus becomes plus theta log theta divided by 1 plus of theta log theta into minus theta log theta. So, plus into minus becomes minus in the denominator and a into a is what you know a square. So, therefore, the numerator becomes 2 times theta log theta and denominator becomes 1 minus theta log theta the whole square. Name this as equation 3. So, I need to eliminate the value of theta. I will consider the given curve. Consider the given two curves. Equate the uh, right hand side as the left hand side is equal to r. We can equate the right hand side of the given curves. I am going to get from 1 is equal to 2, I am going to get log theta the whole square equal to 1. So, therefore, log theta equal to 1. And as we have base e here, raising this base e to the right hand side, we are going to get theta value as e. Substituting this theta value in equation 3, we are going to get tan of phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to 2e divided by 1 minus e square. Since log e to the base e value is 1. Since log e to the base e value is 1, tan can be taken to the right hand side. Therefore, phi 1 minus phi 2 will be equal to tan inverse of 2e divided by 1 minus e square. So, we have a standard uh, formula for this. This can be written as 2 tan inverse e. Therefore, the angle, be, uh, angle between the given two curves, the given two curves is 2 tan inverse e. Moving on to question number uh, 1c. So, show that the radius of curvature is at any point theta on the cycloid x equal to a times of theta plus sin theta y equal to a times of 1 minus cos theta is 4a cos theta by 2. So, the solution has been given in the previous video. You can refer my uh, refer to my previous video. The link will be provided in the description. Moving on to the choice question in the module 1. So, here they have given uh, question number 2a as show that the curves r equal to a into 1 plus sin theta and r equal to a into 1 minus sin theta cuts each other orthogonally. 
So consider the two curves uh, here. Given two curves are r equal to a into one plus sine theta and r equal to a into one minus sine theta. Taking log on both the sides, we are going to get log r equal to log a plus of. I am applying loss of logarithm to the right hand side. Log a b is nothing but what? Log a plus log b. So log a plus log of one plus sine theta. Differentiating this with respect to theta, I am going to get the left hand side as one over r dr by d theta, which is equal to log of uh, a. Derivative of log a is zero. Derivative of log of one plus sine theta is one by one plus sine theta into derivative of one plus sine theta is cos theta. So using the uh, using the definition, one over r into dr by d theta can be written as cot phi one. Similarly, I can find out cot phi two using this uh, second curve, taking log on both the side and differentiating with respect to theta. I am going to get cot phi two equal to minus cos theta divided by one minus sine theta. Now try to express these two expressions in terms of tan phi, as I told you earlier. So I am going to get tan phi one is equal to just taking reciprocal one plus sine theta divided by cos theta. Here tan phi two equal to one minus sine theta divided by cos theta. So therefore tan phi one into tan phi two is nothing but just take the product of these two. So which is one plus sine theta divided by cos theta. Cos theta cos theta is nothing but what cos square theta. And plus into minus becomes minus one plus sine theta into one minus sine theta becomes one minus sine square theta. As you know, the identity a plus b into a minus b is what a square minus b square. And one minus sine square theta is what it is a standard identity. It is nothing but cos square theta. Cos square theta divided by cos square theta with the negative sign becomes what minus one. So finally, I got uh, tan phi one into tan phi two is equal to minus one. That is the required result we required to prove. As we needed to prove that the given two curves cuts cuts each other orthogonally, so either we can prove that tan phi one into tan phi two is equal to minus one, or phi one minus phi two equal to phi by two. In these two ways, we can show that the given two curves cuts each other orthogonally. Moving on to question number two b, find the pedal equation of the curve two a by r equal to one plus cos theta. So consider the given curve two a by r equal to one plus cos theta. Taking log on both the side, we are going to get log two a minus log r, which is equal to log of one plus cos theta. Now differentiate this with respect to theta. Derivative of log two a, as it is independent of r and theta, we can differentiate this as a constant, treating as a constant. That will be zero. So therefore, minus one no uh, minus one over r into dr by d theta, as the derivative of log r is what. By one over r into dr by d theta. Here, derivative of log of one plus cos theta is one by one plus cos theta into the differentiation of one plus cos theta is minus sine theta. So, cancelling minus sine on both the sides, the left hand side can be written as cot phi, which is equal to simplifying the right hand side by using the identities. Sine theta can be written as two sine theta by two uh, into cos theta by two, and one plus cos theta can be written as two cos square theta by two. Two Cos theta by two get cancelled. You are left out with sine theta by two by cos theta by two is what tan theta by two. As we have the left hand side as cot phi, so express the right hand side in terms of cot. Tan can be written as cot of phi by two minus theta. So as the angle is as the angle here theta by two, we will write that as theta by two. So cancelling cot on both the sides, we are going to get phi value as phi by two minus theta by two. Substituting this uh, pi by two minus theta by two in P R equation, that is P equal to R sine phi. So therefore, sine of pi by two minus theta by two is what cos theta by two. Name this as equation one. So from the given curve, two a by R equal to one plus cos theta. Simplify this. So we are going to get uh, one plus cos theta can be written as two cos square theta by two. Cancel two on both sides. We are left out with a by R equal to cos square theta by two. So from this, I can get cos theta by two is what a by r to the power one by two. Just raising the power by square root, uh, raising the power by one by two, we are going to get cos theta by two is equal to a by r whole power one by two. Substituting this cos theta by two in equation one, we are going to get p equal to r times of a by r whole power one by two. Simplifying this, base uh, bases are same. Simply uh, add the powers of uh, r. We are going to get r power one minus one by two, which is nothing but one minus one by two is half. 
therefore p equal to r power 1 by 2 into a power 1 by 2 squaring on both the sides we are going to get p square equal to a r is the required pedal equation so this is the procedure of uh, solving the pedal equation problem so try to eliminate the value of theta from the given curve and try to express the final solution only in terms of p and r p and r is called pedal equation going on to question number uh, 2c find the radius of curvature for the curve y square equal to 4a square times of 2a minus x divided by x where the curve meets the x axis so the given problem is to find the radius of curvature but the given curve meets the x axis so since the given curve meets the x axis the line equation will be y equal to 0 substituting this y equal to 0 in the given curve we are going to get uh, y square or uh, 4a square into 2a minus x divided by x will be equal to 0. Cross multiply the term x, we are left out with numerator equal to 0. And here we know that uh, a, b, the product of two terms is equal to 0. We have either 4a should be equal to 0 or 2a minus x should be equal to 0. Definitely 4a square will not be equal to 0. Consider another factor to 0, 2a minus x equal to 0. From this, I got the value of x as 2a. So therefore, I can say that 2a comma 0 is the point on the curve. So we know that uh, the given curve is y square equal to 4a square times of 2a minus x divided by x. So simplifying this divide, just I am going to split this uh, value, which is nothing but 8a cube by x, 4a square into a, 2a is what? 8a cube divided by x, x by x is what? 1, 1 into 4a square will be my minus 4 a square. So, differentiate this with respect to x. So, the left hand side we have here y square. Derivative of y square is 2y into y dash or y1 or dy by dx. Alternate things we have can be written here which is equal to derivative of 8 a cube by x. Here 8 a cube is constant. Derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 by x square. That is what I have written. Derivative of minus 4 a square is 0. So finally, uh, simplifying this, y1 will be equal to minus 4a cube by x square y. When I give the point to the uh, derivative called y1, I am going to get the solution as uh, infinity. Since y is terminated to 0, 1 over 0 is nothing but infinity. So which is not finite. So therefore, I am going to consider the reciprocal of y1 that becomes x1. x1 is nothing but dx by dy dx by dy will be equal to minus x square y divided by 4a cube. So, now substituting the uh, points for x1 at 2a comma 0, I am going to get y value is 0, 0 into 2a whole square will be 0. So, which is nothing but x1 at uh, 2a comma 0 will be 0. Now, differentiating this x1 with respect to y, I am going to get x2 which is equal to I am going to consider the constant term minus 1 by 4a cube as it is. Now differentiating x square into y, I am going to get x square into derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus y into derivative of x square is 2x into x derivative of x with respect to y is x1. Now substituting 2a comma 0 for x2, I am going to get minus 1 by 4a cube times of put the value of x that is 2a. 2a whole square plus y value is what? 0, 0 into real values 0. Therefore, you are left out with 2a square divided by 4a cube multiplied by negative sign. Simplifying this, we are going to left out with minus 1 by a is the x2 at 2a comma 0. Now, we know the formula for radius of curvature that is given by rho equal to 1 plus x1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by x2. So similarly, if the problem uh, having the solution with y1 and y2, you should know the formula that is 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y2. So now substituting the values of x1 and x2, I am going to get 1 plus 0 whole power 3 by 2 divided by minus 1 by a. So if this negative value goes to the numerator, it becomes minus a. So finally, taking modulus, we are going to get the radius of curvature as a. This is the required solution for the given problem. 
so this is the solution for module 1 of question paper set 1 so i have discussed all the problems of module 1 whichever in the question paper if you have any doubts you can put a comment and i think if you have liked this video if you have liked this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press like button thank you all